What's up, y'all? PJ Owens here, host of the Muse Lifestyle Podcast. So we officially launched on September the 1st, but I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek of what we've been working on. This is your official Stellar 2023 recap. I got a chance to talk to some really cool artists, hang out with the living legend, the one and only, my boss lady, Miss Marette Brown-Clark, and you get to see the final looks from the show. So stay tuned. This is the Muse Lifestyle Podcast. What's my motivation? You don't need no, you don't need no motivation. What's my motivation for this interview? Guys, I am sitting with the one and only, the, <laughs> the Marette Brown Clark, who I affectionately call Boss Lady, Boss who looks lady. amazing today. She does. Wait, <laughs> This is the Muse Lifestyle Podcast, and this is the Marette Brown Clark. Good morning, Boss Lady. Good morning. <laughs> Listen. How amazing is it that we are sitting here in this capacity? We talk almost every single day, but today is the capacity of host. You're awesome. And am, am I awesome? Yeah. Because that means a lot from you. Oh. I glean and I learn all Absolutely. of those things. So thank you. 20 years later, <laughs> right? Speaking of value, I just want to praise you, right? Mm -hmm. Song that we sing to this day all of our churches and it's actually transcended just the gospel industry which yeah. is amazing it was a um on tiktok it was a challenge on tiktok mm -hmm. so how does it feel to have a song back on the charts 20 years later and the new version is crazy by Thank the way you. so download that but how does it feel to have that song uh, like a rebirthing of i just want to praise you so it, it goes to the prayer answering god yes. of this is that i pray for two things that my music would go further than i could physically take it and i watched to do just that absolutely and then the second one was for longevity so i wanted whatever i did to have messages um, and that would speak years later. Mm -hmm. So not just for that moment, because in that moment it's good, right? But to have music that literally is a soundtrack of people's lives and to have them carry that into through their full lives, yeah. um, that's really, really cool. I love it. And what I love is that a whole generation of people have fell in love with this song. So like the, those who were teenagers then are yeah. like parents now, but yeah. their kids yeah. have not fell in love with it because of the power of social media and TikTok. So I love that there's and, a resurgence. And let me, let's speak to the production of it, right? Yeah. So the production is not over people's heads. So it's something you can listen to today that sounds like it was made today. It doesn't sound dated, Facts. it doesn't sound old. So just a note to people who are producing music or making music, it doesn't have to be that you have to make it in the moment. Facts. Absolutely keep those those um, elements that make it fresh, but don't forsake the, the consistency yes. of just good production, good uh, choices that you make in even in that process. That makes a good song. Mm -hmm. a, a song that has a life of its own. Absolutely. That takes one life, because that's what it did. And that's why we love things like Pastor Don McClurkin's We Fall exactly. Down, which sounds like it was recorded yesterday, yes. but it wasn't. A Fred Hammond song, or, you know, not to call artist names, because that's not what I'm doing, but those songs that literally stand the test of time. Yes, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, y'all? PJ Owens here for the Muse Lifestyle Podcast. I'm here with one of my favorite people in the entire world. Right? I didn't know that. You didn't tell me one that. Of, <laughs> one of my favorite people, the amazing Pastor Smokey Norfolk. What's up, man? What's happening, brother, man? Listen, I was telling you last night how amazing it is. We've been working together for about six years. Six years. And this is the first time we've met in person. That's the power of technology, <laughs> right? Power of technology. So let's Absolutely. jump right into it. When you're doing all of this amazing stuff, and I'm sure that you've had some challenges along the way, what would yeah, you say sure. to an aspiring artist, an aspiring pastor, an aspiring creative who is out there, paid, you know, trying to do their thing? What would you say to them? I, first, I, you know, it's, it's been consistent my whole career. This has been my same answer. You know, seek ye first the kingdom of yes. God, his righteousness. Ne never forget your why. Never forget your why. Because the moment that you forget your why, why are you doing this, then you're ultimately going to get distracted. You're going to uh, fall into the trap of comparison. You're going to allow yourself to be pigeonholed into Thanks. one box, one group, one way of doing it. Uh, Bishop Jake said this to me years ago, and it really still resonates. Um, literally, he said it to me almost 20 years ago. Uh, people will always want to keep you where they met you. Absolutely. And so you have to be bold enough, big enough, strong enough yes. to evolve and to move into wherever it is God has taken you um, for your life, yes. for your ministry, for your music, for your career. 
And I think another thing is that your lifestyle should align with your music. Yes. You know, that we don't have the luxury of, of being an act. We don't have the luxury of being able to put on this, right. this personality, this alter ego. You really have to be who you say you are. Absolutely. And what you sing you are. Absolutely. And so. No, I love that. Love that. Love that. PJ Owens here with one of my faves, the amazing Miss Crystal Aiken. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good and she's morning. in our brand colors too. Come on, Look we at this. We didn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even know. So if you had some advice to tell an aspiring artist, even someone who's been in the industry for a long time, mm. what would that word of advice be? You know, the word I would tell anyone is to just remain themselves. You yes. know what I mean? I think we have this thing where we want to look at somebody else and we want to become them we want to yes. duplicate we want to emulate but i found out that he really made my gift my gift yours and my sound exactly. is my sound my look is my look yes. and you'll find yourself being envy looking out but the thing about it is become the best you develop you and i'm telling you then someone's going to look at you and and consider you an example absolutely and so we really have to say that listen we already got the amazing yolanda we always got i already got uh you know karen and i would have all these amazing lisa page who i've adored watching them growing up yes but now it's crystal you know what I mean and I have to learn how to love me and, and so it's I'm only one crystal it's only one. it's only one and we love you thank you we absolutely love you. you here with my bro one of the flyest dudes <laughs> in the, the industry Mr. Anthony Hall oh, the flyest guy in gospel what's up man <laughs> what's Mr. Going Anthony on, brother? Hall look at his I mean you know little little drip you, you know done, bro I'm chilling today you, you know done. what I'm saying listen so let me um ask you this how important is image for artists, you know, yeah. emerging artists, existing artists, because some people think that it's not important, but the branding specialists, yeah, we yeah. know that it is, but how yeah. important is that to you? It's very important, you know, especially as an independent artist, I'm yes. on my own label um, with my business partner, Dominique, and we, have, Dominique. we have about six or artists on there, mm -hmm. Nikita Fox, Michael Dixon, and if you look at everything that we do, uh, we took a real good focus on branding and, and the way that Absolutely. we look, because sometimes people will listen to your music just by the way that it looks, Absolutely. and I think a lot of artists don't get that. You got the greatest song and the worst visuals, so people are going to judge you by what they see first. And we'll not walk what they right hear. by. We'll walk Scroll right, by, right you. by. And so yeah. every time you show up, every time anybody from Vegan Bay um, shows up, represents, we are together. Because I just believe it in my heart that you know what you look like is what you become. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying. And so you have to see the thing, you know, as Absolutely. well. And, um, and so we want the visuals to lead what we do. And so um, you can look at our album covers and our Absolutely. visuals and our run up. He's like, yo, I, I'm gonna give this at least a try. Facts. You know what I'm Facts. saying. And but so you, you, Dominique. Vegan Bay, you guys always put out yeah. amazingness. So yeah, yeah. thank you for that. No, thank for you sure, for, for sure. Um, highlighting the standard yes, in yes, our yes. industry. That's important. That's for important. Us. That's important. important. And for I think us. a lot I think you can be independent and not look independent. Exactly. And we get a lot of help from our Monarch family. You know, this is family to us. We feel like we're you know, like we're directly signed of to course, Monarch. Gina looks out for us. But um, as as a label that's independent, you know, I think we wanted to make sure that we didn't feel or seem independent, Very important. you know, but we were a major label just waiting to get our major exposure. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And so it's, it's great. PJ Owens here for the Muse Lifestyle Podcast. I'm sitting here with the one and only Bishop S.Y. Younger. Hey, What's hey, going hey. on? Man, honored to be hanging out with you today. Absolutely, absolutely. Right. So listen, words to live by. What are your words to live by? My word to live by is serve what's in front of you. Mm. Sometimes we are distracted by the future. And when I say distracted by the future, you should have hope for the future, expectation for the future, but serve what's in front of you. Yeah. Because sometimes our desire for the future can make us not serve well in our now. Wow. Not realizing that our now is connected to our next. Yeah. So serve what's in front of you. That's what I live by. Serve what's in front of you. What's up, y'all? PJ Owens here for the Muse Lifestyle Podcast. I'm here with Just Cordell. Saw this guy last night at the Monarch Reception. He completely blazed the stage. What's up, man? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. So if you had some advice for an aspiring artist that is trying to really do their thing, they've been like going hard for years yeah. and they just got got discouraged or you know because it happens to everybody right yeah. um, sometimes you have writer's block you have yeah. artist block you don't feel like doing nothing mm -hmm. what words of advice would you have for those people i say man stay connected to your source i think when you're grounded in the word when you're grounded with god yeah and you just solely rely on him because if any man gets you in a place or any man or anything in this world gets you in position 
um, then you'll continue to rely on that. Facts. But when you're relying on God to just be the source, to be my creativity, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's who you rely on, like bro, it's gonna all come together. Facts. You know what I'm saying? He said he work all things together. Exactly. You know, so for the good of those who love the Lord. And so, man, just stay connected to him. What's up, y'all? PJ Owens here for Muse Lifestyle Podcast at the 2023 Stellar Gospel Music Awards. I am here with the amazing, who I just met last night, the amazing Mr. Ryan Jackson. What's up, bro? What's up, man? So before we started, he dropped this quote, right? Because, again, we're a lifestyle podcast, yeah. meaning that we're I'm here for the whole person, mind, body, soul, bringing you the best in inspirational content, all types, right? Yeah. So he hit me with this quote from Bishop Jakes. I almost fell out this chair. <laughs> when he said it so when we said lifestyle yeah. um, muse lifestyle what does that how does that resonate with you and share that quote with our audience today I, I was sharing that I just really appreciate the fact that we care more about the person and not um, necessarily um, filling buildings and filling rooms and what they can do of, exactly. yeah, and taking from people and so I guess my right now my goal is that people would be inspired to not just love Christ, but to love themselves yes. and live in a way that makes them happy and yes. allows them to experience the fullness of Jesus Christ. Yes. And the quote that I I, um, I shared with you was from Bishop Jakes. He said, the scripture doesn't say that uh, Christ came that we may have church. Right. He said that Christ came that we may have life. And so I just want to encourage everyone to continue living. Love God, but continue to live and experience all that God has for you outside the confines of the four walls. Continue to live the life that God has for you. What's up, y'all? PJ Owens here at the Stella Gospel Music Awards 2023. I'm sitting here with the amazing Mr. <laughs> Killed last night, Mr. Ron Poindexter. What's up, bro? What's going on, PJ? Listen, in such a fast-paced industry, because you've been in it for years, how do you stay level-headed? How do you stay grounded with everything that's going on in today's industry? Listen, you got to have a word life and a prayer life to get through your day-to-day -day life. So surely you got to get it for Facts. industry things because um, you can become of a thing. <laughs> you, you can become of it and not have to be right, in it. Right, right, right. So right. Um, I've, I've been able to uh, compartmentalize my person away from my persona. <laughs> so, Mic drop. <laughs> So Ronald is the person. Ron Poindexter is the gift, the call of the assignment, the job. Facts. But Ronald as a person is whole by himself. Yes. So I don't need the gift to validate me. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so when I'm not doing that, I'm actually more of who I am. Exactly. So it, it's literally just staying rooted and grounded in God and knowing who you are. Like yes. the, the worst is to make your call of an election sure. You gotta be sure about every gift you got. Absolutely. <laughs> so, Absolutely. Yeah. I love that. So real quick, rapid fire questions. Mm -hmm. Favorite artist. Ooh. Is that secular or gospel? Doesn't matter. Okay, Jill Scott. Jill Scott. Jilly from Philly, just yeah. saying. Yeah, okay. Jilly there from Philly, go. 2 and 5. Okay. We love your favorite movie. Something new. Some, Do you Sinai know something Lathan? new? Sanai Lathan. One of my faves, too. One of my faves. Favorite food? Italian. Well, Mexican. Oh, Mexican. Oh, Mexican. I'm sorry. All right, Mexican. Okay, Mexican. We got it. Favorite artist? Pastor Mike Jones. Favorite song? Impossible. Mm. <laughs> Favorite movie? Biker Boys. Biker Boys. Favorite yeah. genre of food? Ooh, that's tough, bro. That's tough. I like Italian. You like it? Me too. Okay, okay, Me too. okay. <laughs> All right, this is the last one important. Are you a wing guy? Chicken wing guy? Yeah, yeah. Drums or flats? I don't own, I hope these don't cross the line with you, but I'm a drums guy. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Hey, we here, Thank man. You. We Thank here, you. man. Because I don't understand whether yeah. people like them flats. You feel I don't get it. It's I don't get it. I'm like, bro, you got to work harder. Facts. You know? Favorite artist? Favorite artist? Um, man, why would you do this, man? I, I'm not rapping. <laughs> Favorite artist, Smokey Norfolk. Got it. Favorite, <laughs> favorite Smokey Norfolk song. I'm gonna play it safe. Uh, favorite Smokey Norfolk song is a song I did called In the Middle. In the Middle, okay, yeah. yep. okay. Favorite movie? Harlem Nights. Harlem Nights, yeah. all right, so this is a big one. This is my last one. All right. Are you a chicken wing guy? I don't eat meat. You don't eat meat? I can't <laughs> ask you this question. Well, did you did at one point though. I did. When you ate meat, were you a flat or a drum guy? 
Uh, drum. Drum guy? Yeah. Thank you. And that's why we love that Smokey Norfolk. <laughs> so, we're gonna play a quick game of Rampant Fire. You ready? Ah! You ready? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Favorite song? I just wanna praise you mm, mm, mm. forever. Got it. Okay. Favorite artist of all time? Favorite artist of all time? Oh, I, like, I got a couple. Mm -hmm. Top three. Donnie, Papa, Richard Smallwood, mm -hmm. and Cece. Richard Smallwood. For those who don't know, <laughs> Angels Watching Over Me, yeah. all that was my rap, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Favorite movie? It used to be Love Jones, but now it's um, the greatest show. The grip, the music. You love the music. I do love the music. Okay. <laughs> All right. Last question. It's an important one, right? Because you know I'm a foodie. You know this. The last question is: last When question. am I gonna pay you the money I owed you? No. Oh, no. Okay. Go no. Ahead. No. <laughs> Chicken wings. We love wings. Yeah. Right. Are you a flat or a drum girl? Flats. All Are day. You I don't know. Anybody got time for that thick meat on the drumstick? You stick? are a flat Need a little girl. thin meat to pull off of it. You just pull that just like that. We was really good up until You don't even point. have to chew the, the flat part hard. Just That just made me really upset. Because um, <laughs> drums is it. Drums is it. But you're a flat girl. I get it. I get it. All right. Favorite artist? Who? Um, favorite artist? Mahalia Jackson, Hezekiah Walker. Let's do it. Favorite movie? Uh, Color Purple. Color Purple. Color, I can quote that movie. I love it. I love it. Favorite song of all times. Favorite song of all times? Uh, maybe uh, The Blood. The Blood. Andre Crowd. Come on. The Blood. Yeah. All right. Last question. This is important. Now, are you a chicken wing guy? Absolutely. Okay. I'm now, from the South. Now, Bishop, are you a drum or a flat guy? Oh, that is so easy. And I know there have been many church splits over this question. Bishop. Many families have been divided, Bishop. even greater than the Civil War. Uh, so I must say, and I hope we can be friends Bishop. after this, because I'm looking and I'm discerning the direction you go in, but it's flat. You are drunk? Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. The wings have the most softest, the, the flats have the most softest tender meat. Around it. I mean, what do I you even do with this. some of that around the I can't apartment? believe this. But we still love you. <laughs> we still love you. <laughs> we'll, maybe we'll all still go to heaven. Exactly. Have to <laughs>
Chandelier. We call that the chandelier. Yes. That's the chandelier. The chandelier blouse probably was the uh, hands down showstopper. Event number 4,676. No. Sneakers. Look at that. Can y'all imagine a sneaker? Yes. With this chandelier she got on? Yes. <laughs> how, how would that look? Not no. I'm going to swing yes. From the chandelier. <laughs> that was a fun moment. Yeah. So you did that. Thanks. Thank you. So how, this is what year for sellers? What year? Was, but wait, when you won, that wasn't your first year. Mm -hmm. It was. So that was 2000. 2000? 2000. 2000. 2000. See, I told you. That was 2000 mm -hmm. for a record that came out in 1998. I had to wait, right? So that back then they used to do the Stellas in February. In we wish it was still in February. The way we wish it was in February because, because it is 116 degrees today. 116 degrees, that's not fair. So, it was the year of our Lord 2000. It won a Stella Award for Best New Artist. Yeah. For um, what song? For the album was called How I Feel, but PJ's song was I Can Feel. Break the day with everything. Break it all day. And since we got a little Philly connection going on, shout out to Stephen Ford. Come on, Uncle Steve. For producing um, that song and half the record. So. Mm -hmm. But wait, wouldn't y'all like to hear? No, let me. What? Oh, in the camera shot. Wouldn't y'all like to hear what? a remake of Breaking of Day? Real swaggy, kind of acoustic situation. Yeah. I'm just saying. But you know, I re recorded it, right? It can be third. <laughs> PJ Morgan, my namesake has recorded the same song 63 times. Love you, Peach. Take that off camera. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Peach. But, but we find truth in the content <laughs> of that sentence. And we listen to it and we buy it every time. We listen and we buy and we enjoy. I think that would be dope. Yeah, I don't mind. I think um, um, with this next record that's coming out later this year, there's definitely going to be a tour uh, situation. Yeah. Uh, even if I have to send myself out on my own, put up the house, go on tour. Okay. Uh -huh. But yeah, so I don't know what year number Stellar Award this is for me coming, but I've certainly been involved for the last 23 years. Mm -hmm. I've been in this industry longer than that. Jesus, hold on. Loses oxygen. <laughs> but that is longer than that, but I'm still here, which is hilarious to me. But it answered two prayers. My first prayer was um, that God take my music further than I could physically take it, which He's done. And then the second prayer was for longevity, mm -hmm. which He has done and is doing. So that's pretty good. I probably shouldn't be eating while I'm doing this. Right. Because right. <laughs> you're going to be out here a long time. So I just want to praise you. He said I can eat. Was back on the chart after 20 years, which is actually unheard of. Um, 20 years later. So even more than that, though, it's still in people's hearts. Mm -hmm. It's still in people's playlists and catalogs. Um, the old version. So people are asking me, why did you make a new version? And to me, it doesn't feel new because that's the way we do it when I do it live with my band and singers. And so it's a song that I sing all the time. Everywhere I go, I will sing, I just want to praise you. Two reasons. One, because everybody knows it. So it's a great icebreaker. Just sing it and let the song sing itself. And you're like, hey, I'm a Red Brown Clark. So the, the other thing with me is that a lot of people don't necessarily know me, which is, I think I prayed that prayer too. God moved me out of the way. So you can't ask God to for things and then he does them and then you have a problem with it. So I asked him to move me out of the way, which he did. And so he certainly elevated my music um, and not necessarily me. Huh? 
and you gotta be all right with that. And I'm all right with that. Okay, so back to that though. Wait, oh, we need a picture because Fred's leaving. Yes. Hold on. Bam. Why are your arm all long? What? <laughs> I will see you later. Fred, it was nice working with you, man. I'm going to brush it in the back pocket. Always, but I'm going to put this in my sit bag. So I have. Nice work pleasure. with you. Pleasure. Hope pleasure. to see you pleasure. soon. Yes, sir. We are preparing you. I love you. Love you to get dressed for the show. And we'll be right back in a little bit. We'll be back in a few. Oh, it's adjustable. Oh, there's a chain on you. Where's the chain? Where's that going? Ugly hang. Oh. Not tight at all. It can be tighter. Mm -hmm. it cannot Keep be it. Tighter. it can... <laughs> <laughs> no, it cannot be. Uh uh, but it needs to go over the seat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, now this is your choice. Oh, okay. We'll do. Your test. Steve. Okay. One. But oh, them shiny ones. <laughs> well, I'll have a deck. Let you vote. Apostles? Let you Apostles! <laughs> <laughs> care about because I do care how I look and how Thank I present you. and I always want to try to look um, you know like you don't want to look at a picture of yourself 
10 years from now and be like, why did I why wear did I that? Why did I do that? Mm -hmm. So, you know. Can you still see that shoe? Yeah, see the shoe good. You okay, pull up the petticoat yeah, a little bit underneath here. Yeah. Okay. I might have to go up in there. Yeah. Hard on. Okay. Stellar's 2023. First time I had to do six looks in two days but it was fun and it's always fun working for the Marette Brown Clark because how to get this done how to how to do this nope oh it's always fun working with and for Marette because she's really amazing and if you think she's great like on stage and stuff she's more amazing behind the scenes so it's always a pleasure um, working and creating for such an iconic brand who we can still celebrate today, who's still making amazing music, still making an amazing impact on the world at this point. So after she gets dressed, I'm gonna get dressed. Come here. I'm gonna get dressed. You might meet Carla. No. But yeah, well, how do, what did you think about walking around yesterday and seeing all of your um, the pictures from the photo shoots that was pretty cool. how you styled all of that that was really good wasn't that and nice? i didn't even see the ones on the little cubes yeah but no it was good so how did you feel <laughs> you flipping the script i am because you're a host mm. no i felt great um yeah and it looked good up there yeah it looked good man yeah i think we have a winner okay I have clothes on. You do? Just, we're dressed. I know. <laughs> I'm the emperor. <laughs> well, I'm not the emperor. I have clothes. So your phone is probably going to have to be outside of that. Yes. And then, what's your wallet? I didn't bring my wallet. Look! Famous gospel star wallet here. Ziploc bag. Oh, shucks! <laughs> Not a receipt. We're stepping in high cotton here. <laughs> what all needs to go in here? So you need some chewing gum because you don't want your breath. Because the people breath don't be right. Breath be hangry. Mm -hmm. You need the key to the hotel. You need sanitizer. Sanitizer, folks. We are still in a pandemic. And you need she just stopped wearing her mask yesterday. Stop it. And you need a 20 because I don't care what they say. Cash is king. And you need a credit card, okay? And they all fit. No, ma'am, no. I'll leave the mask. No, yes. But I'm to Saints. All right, you know what happened. That's it. I got my. Yeah, that's it. She's ready. Shout out to Latan Floyd of the Vivian Collection for this amazing gown. Yeah. Latan did his great work on this. And shout Real out to uh, Jermaine Pratt. Um, I love you guys. They're my brothers back in Philly. Yeah, you did your good work on this time. Yeah. All right, we are off. Yeah, we got receipts, okay? Just saying. <laughs> We're off. All right, where's my key? Pray, Saints, pray. <laughs>
all. So this is a wrap. This is my look for Stellar's 2023 suit. Thank you so much, Gary Sullivan. Alterations, Jay Pratt. Get into these pants. It's giving Carl Lagerfeld singing with Ronald Osley in the 70s. That's all I'm saying. So thank you again for joining me. This has been your recap for Muse Lifestyle Podcast, Stellar Awards 2023. Again, I'm your host, PJ Owen. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you soon. Thanks for joining me for the Muse Lifestyle official Stellar Award recap. We really did have an amazing time out in Vegas where it was 3,000 degrees every single day. Make sure that y'all follow us on Instagram at Muse Lifestyle Podcast and also subscribe to our YouTube channel at Muse Brand TV so you can be the first to know when the first episode drops. Bringing you nothing but the best and in inspirational content, this is the Muse Lifestyle Podcast.